<laughs> after just a little bit of a hiccup, but we're all set. Uh, Dar's off to the races and Don off to the races here. Both these players playing similar style boards. Uh, if uh, Dar's can get through columns one and two here, get that yellow red going, can really start opening up the board. Uh, meanwhile, Don's playing a pretty balanced board, nothing too terrible. Going to have to deal with a little bit of drop time. Yeah, look, I, I don't like Dar's board that much, but I mean, sure, there's that tower in column four, but there's also a lack of yellow exposure that he has to deal with right now. Mm -hmm. Starting to build up a little with those yellow fragments, trying to get a potential horizontal clear into a drop combo. It looks like he's just going to go ahead and clean that out. Yeah, I think I think uh, the the red blue is what uh, Dars was waiting for here, and now really could start addressing the board here, despite that big spire and having to work around it here. It's still relatively close here, as it is just one virus between our players, and uh, looks like with this little slip down, it's going to be a nice little easy setup here. Looks like Dawn is going to be setting up for that double horizontal. Over in row number one, uh, down to six viruses, nine viruses to go here. And speaking of six to nine, these players playing through level six to nine in as quickly as possible. And just going to get the swag tee as Dawn just needing a couple of yellows. And there's the double yellow out at a 126. And we see Dawn starting level seven. Yeah, Dars has, Dars has been kind of trapped because he had a couple of horizontal plays that he needed. He got the fat log at the on the bottom left hand side of his board, which really helped him out. And now he's out at about one forty three. Yeah, and uh, it's still a two virus game here. But Don's had a little bit more time to get setups going. Going to go for that low elevation horizontal clear. Just try to get things set up, maybe for an end game here. Also, not a lot of blue to work with. Uh, nice sweet tea. Going to clear out some reds at the top of the board and getting a double red blitz, using it nicely and efficiently, clearing off that those top two viruses down to 21. Meanwhile, on Darz's side, Darz is setting up here uh, for a combo on that left side and uh, is going to get a little bit of a drop down on the right here. And a red virus off the board, minimizing that drop time. Very efficient play there by Darz. Uh, we've got a Canadian versus an almost Canadian here. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, it is 15 to 10 here, still a lead for Dawn as Dawn is starting to chomp away at this board, getting that nice tuck double and uh, looking to just kind of go right to left here as there goes a red and this blue red, huge for Dawn Venier as Dawn is down to five, now single digit territory for Dars. But Dars has some good doubles here. He could do really well in finishing this out, Packy. He was, he was debating what to do with that red-yellow there, but earlier in the board, uh, he had been setting up a lightning rod clear with, for maximum efficiency through this board, and he's done really well thus far. It's just Don has been doing a little bit better. That Then that's been the story. Don had, had a little bit of a garbage there on that left side, getting the clear down to 34. Dar is looking for that last yellow out at a 321. So it is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a seven virus game here as I briefly forget how to breathe, but we're good. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got a lot of yellow on that top line, almost exclusively yellow. Uh, no blue access really for Dawn as Dawn continuing to just work the board down. Really only way to get blue access is just chip away at that stack on the left, or excuse me, on the right side. Uh, Dars is being put, being put into some forced garbage play here, uh, but makes a nice play. He's going to clear the garbage over on column number eight, and now really starting to go to work. Yeah, looking at Darz's board, he's just he he had an issue with a, a lack of access to yellow viruses for a while, and a good number of pills he was getting had yellow halves. He's going to go for these in between clears, these quick double clears that he can just knock out really quickly. Looking at looking at column six right now, though, I'm, it looks like he intends to underclear those blues, but he he needs to knock out the yellows in column eight in order to be able to reach that right now. Yeah, just that yellow blockade really hampering Don Venure right now. Uh, but we're gonna see Dars here. Dars actually has taken a bit of a slight lead in viruses, uh, about a couple of virus lead here. As uh, Dars looking to address that blue, looks like he got himself a little tied up down there. Uh, good tuck play down to 10 here and now going down to eight here. 
no no yellow left on the board virus wise for Dars. Uh, so he's got some stuff at a pretty reasonable elevation. I like this drop play. He's going to go down to three and he's going to get this nice play here. Mm -hmm. He does have that like garbage that. all set up, but like, I like this play here. Going to utilize that double red. Dawn's going to get a nice combo down to three, but it looks like out of eight first is going to be Dars. He just needs that blue. Where is it? Where is that blue? Oh my goodness. There it is. There it is. Out at a 521 here, but look at this. Don Venier out at a 520. So remember, these players started a little late between each other. So Don holding on to a one second lead as we go into nine. Yeah, Don was shaking his head, be I, I can only assume, because that level did not go nearly as well as he had hoped, but he still has a slight lead on, on Dars right now. And I really like that garbage clear set everything up nicely with the uh, pieces that fell down, just a little bit of blue garbage in that uh, column four, but a double blue can easily erase that, but it is an eight virus lead as Dars is going to town here. Dars has a lot of easy clears here, got a couple of double opportunities on the lower, double and a triple opportunity rather on the lower side of the board here. A very, very tight match as our uh, Twitch chat is saying live here. Uh, for those watching the VODs, come join us. Come join us for these live games. These are always fun to watch live uh, as Dar is now playing a bit of a scattered board here, 11 to 18. It's like he's signaling he wants to clear out this yellow horizontally, and he can pre he could pretty much do that at his leisure. Right now, the issue is he needs a lot of blue, and he needs it yesterday. Dawn is... Looks like Dawn might be setting up for that horizontal red on the bottom row, and that is exactly what's happening here. Dawn down to 10, but all of a sudden, this is looking pretty tight here. Uh, Dawn down to 8, Dars to 5, and now 7 to 5 here. Here comes a nice combo. It is down 5, but that drops the blues, so going to be tough here, but a very fortuitous set of blues here. It's 3 to 2. Who's going to get this? It's going to be close. There goes another blue. He needs Dars needing one blue, and out at a 7 0 oh, 2. Don Venier just takes it. A five second margin. What an opening game for Saturday. No kidding. Dar Dars just got color locked at the end of that, and it was it was really an issue trying to get all the blues he needed to finish it off. And it gave Dars or gave Don just enough time to catch up and take it. Yeah, Dars absolutely turned on the Jets in the latter half of that match. It was it seemed like it was all Don Venier, but that that uh, level eight was huge for Dars and managed to keep this one pretty competitive. Can't be mad at a five second loss. And we do have a ready from Dawn, so we're just waiting on a ready from Dars. And it looks like we have a ready, so we're going to get our countdown from the Dave in three, two, one, and pills. Dawn Venier, the sixth seed, trying to take out the 11th seeded Dars. Dars, one of the DRMC OGs. Uh, Dawn's been around for a pretty long time himself, but uh, can't wait to see how this one goes as both these players starting to go to town here. Good opening salvos from both players. Yeah, you can tell that Dars did not want to waste that stack he had in columns two and three because he wanted to clear a, at least a virus with it. Yeah, and we're really Dars really only handcuffed in the center of the board. Uh, Could have used that uh, blue yellow to just clear out the garbage, but I think the plan is maybe wait for a red yellow, drop that down, and uh, get the blue off the board. Uh, looks like he's just going to forego it and get the horizontal double here. So, uh, really good change of strategy here. Watch this double blue and that mm -hmm. blue fragment going to drop down really, really smart. They play there by Don Venier and <clears> then setting up the red a little or the blue a little bit. Uh, one red left on Dawn's board, and it's uh, almost a completely red on Darz's board. Yeah, looking at the early game for Dawn versus Darz, Dawn is playing on medium speed, and when you have to make tuck plays, the pieces take a little bit longer to fall, so it can cost you a little more time than one who's playing on high speed. But at the same time, you also have a lot more maneuverability if you need to make some some swims and tucks and flips absolutely and you play such a huge risk oh and it looks like don may have oh, misplayed yeah. that yellow red over in column one that's going to be tough to recover out of in those wing columns packy if you make a mistake there it can really bite you 
Yeah, high high up on the board, it can it can be really difficult. But it looks like he's found his way out of it, and now he's going to flatten this out and take the horizontal clear, and he's pretty much squeaky clean again. Yeah, really good recovery there by Don Venier as Don is at 23. Dars is at 18, now 16 with the double clear and a good combo here is going to put him down to 14 here. Uh, nothing really to speak of on that left side, just a couple of straggling viruses in column three for Dars. Uh, Don has n barely anything on the bottom of his board, just a couple of viruses there uh, on rows one and two and a good drop combo here by Don puts him at 12. Yeah, I, I I really like the look of Dars's board right now. That that one clear that leaves that blue fragment on top, I'm not quite sure about that because it can be really precarious to try to set up. Okay, it looks like he is going to take the horizontal clear on row four. Dars here, I think, did, did a bit of a strat here. Um, he is going to get a uh, blue piece ready to drop, but... Uh, is it going to get the combo no. he wants? No, he's completely uh, messed that up, but uh, he is at least going to be able to play it out here. Don't really know. Okay, he is going to go for the tuck there. Out at a 255. Let's see where Dawn is. Dawn out at a 256, so a one-second lead for Dars as we go into the halfway point. Yeah, you get the sense that Dars was really going for that drop fat log, and if he did a horizontal clear on the red garbage instead of the vertical clear, he, I believe he would have gotten it. But right. and horizontal plays, when you start stacking things on top of them, they can get a little complicated and hard to keep track of. They, they absolutely can, and usually in those endgame situations... Like, you do have that ideal combo you want, but sometimes you just have to throw it away and just get the board cleared and go to the next. Um, and I think that's kind of what we saw there on Dars's end. But Dars is going to be still be in this here, up by three viruses. Uh, but Dawn's starting to uh, close the gap here and is going to get a nice short stack, taking three more off the board. And uh, not a lot of red to speak of. Good double play there just to keep the board nice and simple. 13 to 11 here as it is just a two virus game. And as I say that, Dars evens it right back up. It is nine to 10 here as these players cross the four minute threshold. And Dars is finally attacking the left-hand side of his board. There's a lot to deal with over there, but right now he's just got a cluster of reds on the top and bottom of his stack to worry about. This will lower the yellow fragment a bit, but He's probably not too worried about that right now. He needs reds and he needs them now. And he's getting them. <laughs> and Don needing blues. He's needing blues somewhere and they're just not coming. Uh, he's had to combo the garbage out, which does eat some time, but get some fortuitous blue at the end. Out at a 432. Dar's out at a 437. As these players once again, neck and neck, going into level nine. This is going to be another close one. Looking at these boards, there's, there's some horizontal opportunity for for Don lower in the, lower in the board here. Okay, it looks Don like he's going to get sees that and is going to right. combo it. Also, yeah, there's an opportunity the... for the uh, horizontal quad. Yeah, there, there were there were a lot of different plays to be made there. It was it's just a matter of which one you want to take. Just be decisive and go for it, and that's the one you decided to go for. So, a double red would be amazing. A double red blows this board up. Uh, it's it's huge here. And I think Dawn's just going to take the simple play here. A little bit of garbage, but nothing too, uh, nothing too worrisome. Uh, he is down to 21. Dars is just trying to chip Ooh. into the left side of the board here as uh, he's looking for maybe a double yellow. Not going to really help him at this juncture, um, but he's maybe holding out for it here. There's, there's a decent chance he could get one, but uh, you've just got to be careful of that piece dependency at high elevation. Another thing I was thinking about when Don was putting together that horizontal play was you probably don't want to clear too much at once because you don't want the game to crash. Absolutely. We've we've seen the we've seen that uh multi-clear glitch just absolutely devastate players' games. Um and you know it, it was the difference between a win and a loss. Dawn is gonna come out, out and be out at a six oh nine taking the match going up to nothing and we'll be advancing to round number two and